Well, China's economic recovery continues to show an imbalance with manufacturing outpacing consumer spending. Growth in consumer spending unexpectedly cooled to 2.3% in April, the slowest pace since 2022, while industrial output rose to a faster than expected 6.7%. And this is according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Now, this unbalanced recovery driven by strong exports and manufacturing faces risks from mounting trade tensions with the U.S. and Europe. Trade frictions could challenge the sustainability of China's export-driven model. In response to a worsening property sector, Beijing has announced new measures to support it. Easing rules for borrowers and pledging public funds to buy homes, Chinese property shares rallied on the news with the CSI 300 index rising 1% and the Hang Seng China Enterprises Index up to 0.8%. Chinese President Xi Jinping's the government is also signaling more support to strengthen domestic demand. The central bank removed the floor on mortgage rates and also lowered minimum down payment ratios for home buyers. Additionally, the government is mulling a plan for local authorities to buy millions of unsold homes. Meanwhile, China started selling its $138 billion ultra-long special sovereign bonds to fund critical infrastructure spending, raising expectations of further, mon of further monetary easing. Despite these measures, consumer prices remained sluggish and credit shrank for the first time since 2005. Auto sales, a major component of consumer spending, dropped 5.6% from a year earlier, marking the deepest single-month decline in almost two years. Other economic indicators released show fixed asset investment grew 4.2% in the first four months of the year. While investment in property plunged 9.8%, the urban jobless rate improved slightly to 5%, down from 5.2% in March. While sales of clothing, shoes, hats and textiles, all of that declined 2% from a year earlier. The first monthly contraction since the end of 2022. Well, the mixed economic data may prompt the Chinese government to step up support on the margin, but it is not expected to lead to any major policy shifts.